The portrait of King Charles, taken at Windsor Castle last year by Hugo Bernand, shows the king wearing the Royal Navy uniform of an admiral of the fleet and is adorned with an impressive display of official medals and decorations. Charles stops short at a smile as he clutches a sword and leans slightly on a table displaying his official hat and gloves. He is wearing over a dozen medals and decorations, consisting of a full medal bar, garter and garter star, thistle star, bath sovereign's badge, order of merit, royal Victorian order, including the chain and GCVO sash. A free copy of the portrait by the favored royal snapper, who was also tasked with taking Charles and Camilla's official coronation portrait as well as the wedding pictures for them and the Prince and Princess of Wales, is being offered to public authorities across the UK as part of a scheme to celebrate the new reign. Institutions such as principal local authorities, courts, schools, police forces and fire and rescue services have been encouraged to apply under the scheme. From February it will be extended to include town, parish and community councils and Ministry of Defence sponsored cadet forces. Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden said, The accession of His Majesty, the King marked a new chapter in our national story. Displaying this new portrait will serve as a reminder to us all of the example set by our ultimate public servant and I hope as many eligible organizations as possible will wish to continue this proud British tradition and honor our King's reign. The Cabinet Office added that official portraits of the late Queen Elizabeth II are currently on display in many public institutions and the new image of the King will allow organizations to continue that tradition. It comes after a new royal book has given fresh light on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to name their daughter Lilibet, after the late Queen Elizabeth's family nickname. They claimed that the late Queen had given her blessing for their daughter to receive the name, but Robert Hardman's new biography, Charles III, New King, New Court. The inside story gives an insight from behind palace walls. A palace aide said the former monarch was as angry as he'd ever seen her after Harry and Meghan publicly stated they would not have chosen the name if the Queen had not been supportive. He writes, One privately recalled that Elizabeth II had been as angry as he'd ever seen her in 2021 after the Sussexes announced that she had given them her blessing to call their baby daughter Lilibet, the Queen's childhood nickname. The book also claims that the king decided to hold a meeting with Prince William shortly after the queen died, and they both decided not to include Prince Harry. The Cullen Express premium member support fearless journalism read the Daily Express online, advert free get super fast page loading start 30 day free trial.